In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can configure syslog on your Palo Alto firewall. And the software version that I'm working on is 901. Okay, and as you can see on my screen, I have a logs inside the system log. I have logs inside this category, which is logged in admins. And I have information inside the config logs as well. So the idea behind uh, the syslog configuration is to, you know, send the traffic or the event logs authentication logs, traffic logs, tunnel logs to, to our external uh, syslog server, which is our Windows server, which will have the syslog application running to gather all the logs. So this is my client machine, and this is the Palo Alto access. So in order to configure the syslog, click on device. And then inside lock setting, okay. You will have to click on server profile here, okay. Click on syslog. I already have an entry, so I'll create a new one. And then click on add, name it. Enter the IP address of the syslog. In my case, it is one ninety two one sixty eight zero one one zero. Protocol is going to be UDP. If you want, you can change it to TCP as well. I'm keeping the uh, default format BST, and the facility I have checked in as log user, but you can change it to various uh, facilities available and to know more about the facility code you can refer to this link this is a standard rfc defined uh, facility code so i'll share this link in the description so that you can go through uh, the codes okay moving forward okay as i was uh, telling you you can select the level of uh, facility here, which will give you more information based on the facility code that you select. Let's select log seven and you can create one more server here. And then you can This time I'm going to choose TCP. And let's try to stick to six. All right, so we have two server configuration inside the syslog server profile. One is using TCP. Another one is using UDP and we have two different level of uh, facilities selected. One is the local seven, local six. And to know more or to get more information about the facility codes, you can refer to the link. I'll provide this link in the description.
basically it it defines the amount of uh, information that you should have in the in the logs that are forwarded to the syslog server okay once done click okay so now we have a new profile created okay once done click on log setting just above that and here you will have to create the settings so that you can forward the system level information configuration level information user id level information to the external syslog server i already have the profile i'll just show you again okay i'm going to i'm not going to filter anything i'm going to forward everything so if you want you can select the severity level here and then since i'm only working with syslog so i'm going to select the profile that we created which is our syslog test and then click ok so the system level information will then be forwarded to the syslog server as per the entry that we have here and let's do it for the configuration logs as well so i'm not going to filter anything i'm going to send everything all logs So now that we are only working with syslog, click on this, add the profile that we created in the last step, click OK. So now we have this entry, which is using the profile syslog test, and we have this entry, which is using syslog test. So accordingly, you can create more entries inside different categories uh, defined in log settings, OK? Now, after configuring the syslog profile log settings, you can move on to object. I'm sorry. There is a forward. Okay, so this is the setting, the third option that we'll have to configure, which is uh, our log forwarding. Okay, it is inside objects. Click on log forwarding. Since I have already created one entry, so let's create a new one. Name it as search log or anything that you would like to mention here. And then click on add and then create the log forwarding profile name and the log type has traffic so you can choose uh, what type of data you would like to send it to the syslog server is it the authentication data or the thread or the traffic or the tunnel, right? So I'm going to select as traffic and I'm not going to filter anything. I'm going to use all logs. Since I'm only working with syslog, so I'm going to click add and select the profile, which is our syslog test and click okay. No need of defining built-in action. It will automatically forward the traffic to the syslog inside the profile that we have defined. So if you like to know the information that is uh, available in built-in action, click on add and you will see that there is a tagging in, uh, option there in the section, in the action. And in the tagging, you can use source address, destination address, and then you can add 
local user id time out that's it i mean it is not really required click on this okay now you see we have a lock forwarding profile so three things we have defined Okay, it seems like the object is already there, so we'll have to create a new object. Now let's try to delete the old one and try to create a new one. So this is the match list. Log type as traffic, because I would like to send the information about the traffic to our external syslog. So now we have our log forwarding profile. We have our filters and we are forwarding this to our syslog test. So now once you're done with this configuration, there is a, a last step since we are, uh, you know, looking for forwarding the traffic information to the syslog server. So the first thing that we configured was syslog profile. Okay, where we define the IP address and the protocol that is going to be used during the syslog forwarding. And then we, we you know, configure the log setting for the system config and rest of the thing. And then inside object, we created a log forwarding. Okay, which is actually helping us in categorizing what kind of data that should be sent to the syslog server. So, now, once you are done with this, you can click on the policy, which is the existing policy and go to the action. Check this option, log it session start, session end and log forwarding, you can check it as syslog profile. So what it is going to do is it is going to send the information about the sessions to the external syslog server. So I'm going to do it for my existing policies just to generate some data so that I can show you on my syslog server. Okay, this might not allow me to do so. Okay. Okay, so now we are done. Let's commit the changes. Okay, so the configuration is committed. Let's move on to the desktop, the dashboard. As you can see here on my dashboard, I still see a lot of information and I expect these information to be sent to our external syslog server. All right, so now moving on to our uh, server. Since this is already configured, let's move on to our syslog server which is running on our Windows Server 2012. Let's launch our syslog server, select the IP address. Okay, my syslog server is running on port 514 at 192.168.0.110 and is using UDP.
So you can see the information there on my syslog server. I can clear that I can show you again. For example, let me try to log out and log in, which will again generate an entry in the syslog. Uh, Okay, so knowingly, I will enter a wrong password, which will then generate an entry. Let's try to see. Okay, maybe next time we'll see that once we select that option there. Okay, now click on browse, show directory. Let's try to check the information that we are getting. So by mistake, I didn't uh, do this setting which was not actually writing the data to our syslog uh, file. So now that I have that entry, let's try to see. It might take some time. Okay, so now that we have the data inside the syslog.txt, we should be able to see the information as you can see. All the information from the Palo Alto device. Regarding the drop traffic, since we have the profile selected in our policy to forward the traffic logs to the external syslog server, so we see all the information about that. Okay, let's try to do some settings on our window, on our Palo Alto device. So that we can see the entry regarding our authentication of the user. So you can see here there is one entry. Let's try to quick some settings on our Palo Alto device. Log forwarding. Let's try to change the log type to auth. And then let's try to log out and try to enter a wrong password to generate an event. Okay, we see an entry here. Let's try to go to the last entry. As you can see, that there is a reason for the failed authentication here. All right, guys, uh, that's all in this video. If you have any questions, uh, do leave them in the comment section. And please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you really enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Have a good day.